All right, what's going on, boys and girls? We are here with another five games that are totally hassle-free that you can play. But this one's themed in a different light. With the release of Cyberpunk 2077 coming up, if you're a gamer and you're looking forward to it, here's five games that totally fit the aesthetic to get you amped and prepared for Cyberpunk. So the first game that we have up is a trip down to Neo Paris, and it is called Remember Me. And this deals with human psyche and how we deal with memories and how they are and how they can be remixed and remastered because you play a memory remixer in this game. Combat is very Prince of Persia. The memory remixing is a cool aspect that I wish they would do another one in this series and focus more on it because the story is very good. The aesthetic is good. It is cyberpunk through and through dystopian future and all next up we have a game that unfortunately only sold 20,000 units and that game is binary domain this game deals with one question what is it to be human the ultimate question in any cyberpunk game to ask is what's the world like is it run by corporations if the answer is yes falls into cyberpunk so binary domain falls exactly into that i don't want to give away too much of the story buy this game third person shooter blow chunks of robot arms off and they'll they will still attack you like the black knight for monty python and next up if you want your XCOM squad base type game this is up your alley this is satellite rain what can i say about XCOM? if you've played XCOM type games you know what to expect very strategic very plotting but it's set in a cyberpunk themed world you you have hackers and dystopian futures control four different ca characters across different classes. Each has its strengths, each has its weaknesses. Just a really fun game to play. And next up, I'm not gonna lie, total fanboy for this game, and this game is called Dex. This is a 2D side-scrolling open world action RPG set in a cyberpunk. This game nails cyberpunk aesthetic to no end. Implants, dark, dingy, corporate run world with music, and it nails every bit of it. The gameplay is good. The story is good. If you have any passing interest in Cyberpunk, you will enjoy this game. This is the game that will get you amped to be ready for Cyberpunk 2077, hands down. And next up, we have a game that was just recently released called Sense, a Cyberpunk Ghost Story. This is a, literally a 2.5D Cyberpunk horror game. I can't give too much away about this game as far as story aspect. It is a point and click kind of game. If you have ever played any of the Monkey Island game, that is kind of what the gameplay falls into very story focused very story heavy and nails that cyberpunk aesthetic so well just a quick side story this developer is amazing he ended up committing to a ps vita release physically for this game and he ended up holding back upgrading unity to the very last version that they officially supported the ps vita just to release this game because he promised the platform that is an awesome developer that totally should be supported so there you folks go. You have five more games to get ready for Cyberpunk 2077 when it's supposed to release in November this year. These games will keep you busy until then if you're a Cyberpunk fan. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.